Okay guys, so in this video we are going to focus on the installation of Firebase CLI onto our local machine. This will greatly help in the development of our USSD application. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to check if we have node uh, installed on our computer or not. So we type in node and ODE dash V. So if we get the version number back, then that means we have Node.js installed on our local machine and we can proceed with the uh, installation of the Firebase tools. But if we don't have that, we have to go onto the web browser. We have to go to the web browser and type in Node.js. So the first link we find over here, the link here, uh, this is where we navigate to the main page. So click on it and this will take us to Node.js's uh, home page. So what you want to do is to click on the LTS. So that's the one we are going to be downloading. So you click on the LTS and then start the download over here. Now, since I already have Node.js installed on my local machine, I'm not going to proceed with the installation of Node.js. But if you don't have Node.js on your computer, I would advise you to uh, stick with this and then install it on your local machine. If you need more information, there are a ton of videos on YouTube that uh, teach how to install Node.js on your local machine. So that's just that you should go, uh, you should try and install that. And when you are done, you can come back to this video, right? So let, let's head back to the terminal. So over here, what we want to do is to run the Firebase, uh, install the Firebase tool. So run npm install dash G Firebase tools. So this will install the Firebase tools on our local machine. So after we run this, we just, it will take a little bit of time since it's a very huge package. So we will need to give it a little bit of time. Now, after this is installed, we can go ahead to log into our Firebase account and then go ahead and set up the hosting uh, and create the cloud functions and all those other good stuff. So this will take a little bit of time. And so for that, I don't want to be spending too much time on the installation part. So I'm going to fast forward this video and I'll come back when uh, everything is set. Alright, so the installation is done and we are done. Uh, we've installed the Firebase tools onto our machine. So to check if this is done, we run the command Firebase uh, tools dash, ver dash dash version, Firebase tools dash dash version. And if we get the version number back, then that means we've successfully installed the Firebase tools onto our local machine. Great, so we got the number back. So the next thing we need to do is to log into our account. So we run the command uh, Firebase login, I believe. Yes, so it's Firebase login, Firebase space login. And this will redirect us to uh, our main page. So we get the question whether we want to allow Firebase to collect optional information. Uh, so it collects the CLI and uh, some error reporting. So if you want to enable this, you can click yes, or you can type yes, Y for yes, or you can type N for no. So I'm going to allow yes, because sometimes I want to send some information back. So to help with the error reporting and stuff, right? But it's not compulsory, you can leave it at no. Great. So after we click on yes, we get uh, redirected to the web page where we need to sign into our account. So we just uh, come down here. We have to, uh, these are the things they require. We click on allow and that's that we are signed into our CLI. That's easy. So when we head over uh, to the command line again, it says success. We are logged in as code with sherigar.com. 
short uh, code with sharika at gmail.com so with that being said we are done the next thing we need to uh we'll be covering in the next video is how we can set up the the code base how we will get into africa's token platform and how we can create the cloud functions so that that is just basically what we are going to cover so thank you for watching and i will be catching you in the next video